All right, we're going to talk about trigonometric functions today. Um, so this is part of my radian conversion here. I didn't put it all up there, but I wanted you to remember that uh, if I have degrees, those relate to uh, a radian conversion, a radian uh, uh, value. So negative 90 is negative pi halves, negative 45 is negative pi fourths, 0 to 0, 30 to pi six, 45 to pi fourths, 60 to pi thirds, and 90 to pi halves, 180 to pi, and 360 to 2 pi. Now, if you remember, we have positive angles and negative angles, which we kind of showed up here. If I have a positive angle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the positive part of the x-axis and measure counterclockwise. So I'm going this direction here. If I go clockwise from that uh, positive x-axis, that is a negative measurement. Okay. We're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the six trig functions that we, uh, we know, uh, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And we're going to look at them based on a, a traditional right triangle and a value in the coordinate plane. So in our right triangle here, I have this angle theta. And with regards to this angle here, I have an opposite side, an adjacent side, and a hypotenuse. So our sine, sine of theta is the opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, cosecant, secant, and cotangent are reciprocals of sine, cosine, and, co and tangent, respectively. But what I, we want to be able to see is that we can use this based in the coordinate plane. So when I put a point in the coordinate plane, I have an xy coordinate. Well, that xy coordinate, I can also find the distance to that point from the origin. I'm going to label that as r. So that is that distance from, from the origin out to that xy. So sine now is opposite of our hypotenuse. But if I look here, that's going to be y over r. And cosine is x over r, tangent is y over x, cosecant is r over y, secant is r over x, and cotangent is x over y. So now we can take a coordinate and find all six trig functions based on that coordinate. Now to find r, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So we also want to rem uh, kind of just remember our trig identities. The one that we have here is the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. These other two are based off of this. So in this first one, I'm dividing everything by cosine squared. So I have uh, 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared. And then this one would be uh, if I s divided everything by sine squared. And I do, do have a little bit of uh, manipulation here. So this becomes 1 plus cotangent squared equals cosecant squared. And then we have all these formulas, these ways to kind of change things around. So we have the addition formula. If I have uh, cosine of a plus b, that equals cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b. And if I have sine a plus b, that's going to be sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Our double angle, so to kind of get rid of this double angle, I'm going to have cosine of 2a is equal to cosine squared minus sine squared. And then if I have sine of 2a, that's going to equal 2 sine theta, cosine theta. And then our half angles here, I have cosine squared equals 1 plus cosine of uh, 2 theta over 2. And sine squared equals 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2. If you remember these back from your trig, you might have seen them with uh, square roots here. So what we're, we're squaring that formula and manipulating it to get it to a basic of, of cosine squared. And then lastly, we have our law of cosines. Law of cosines says that to find that, that long, that piece, we go C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of theta where A, B, and C 
are the sides of the triangle, and theta is the angle that, or C is opposite angle theta. So that's kind of just a quick review of uh, trig functions.